What's up guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be going over five different coins that I think are pretty interesting right now because of the prices they are at. If you've been hiding under a rock for the past few days, uh, well that's probably better <laughs> because the markets have been really really horrible recently. I personally, I haven't left my room in about five days. I've just been crying all day about my portfolio. No, I'm just kidding guys. But yeah, it's best probably not to even open up your um, portfolio, not even to have a look at the markets. Just just for a few days, if if you've got more money into crypto than you should have, like me and many other people, that's probably the case. You're probably putting a bit more than you really should be into crypto, um, but you really believe in it. So I guess, well, it's up to you. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just beneficial for your health and your overall positivity and everything like that, just to not check the markets for a few days. Uh, I kind of have to because that's kind of what I do every day. But um, yeah, when you wake up and you see things like 10% down on Ethereum, Litecoin under 100 bucks, it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty interesting to say the least. But nevertheless, when the coins are like this and the crypto is like this, it's a great opportunity if you've got some fear on the side, like I've been telling everyone for many, many months, always have a bit of fear on the side, whatever amount that may be for you, whether it's $1,000 on the side, $10,000, or whether it's just $100 on the side and you're going to pick up an extra Litecoin um, during the dip. So if we go to CoinMarketCap and take a look at what's been going on, going on over the past uh, 24 hours and over the past 7 days, uh, you can pretty much see that it's a pretty scary situation right now. So we can see here the price, the 1 hour 24 on the 7 day, um, Bitcoin down 14% on the 7 day, we are at 6500 um, I will be going over Bitcoin a little bit in today's video. Ethereum under 500 bucks, that's a pretty much steal. EOS $10, I think it's going to fall lower than that personally. Uh, Litecoin under $100, I mean you can see some of these 26% loss, 28% loss, 28% loss, 24%, 18%, 28%, 19%, 24%. I mean the market is just absolutely bleeding right now. It's all been shot up and it's bleeding. No one's plugging up the wounds or anything like that. And the money is just flowing out and flowing away out of mine and your portfolios, which is really, really hard to see and very, very frustrating. That's why in today's video, I want to try and give you a few coins uh, and a few cryptos that maybe you could purchase now in the hope that they're going to increase in price. Um, even if they just go back to what they were a few days back, you're going to make a considerable amount of money. Again, this is not financial advice. This is just purely what I am doing. And um, if you want to follow that, that's more, you're more than welcome to do that. Before we do get into the video, though, I want to let you know about my trade calls. 49 bucks a month. I'm going to tell you uh, basically where to enter and exit trades. When the market is like this, it is a bit difficult to do trade calls. I have been trying my best to put some out there. But when we've seen 26%, 28% losses over the past few days, it's pretty difficult. Nevertheless, there's always the Bitcoin blueprint, which you can rely on to make a basically get all the information on how you can make an income with cryptocurrency, You're trading, ICOs, um, buying different coins, holding them, shorting, everything like that is included in the Bitcoin blueprint. As I've said before, I'm adding over 40 lectures to that bad boy in the coming few weeks, so that's definitely something to keep an eye on. All right then, enough of the plugs, let's get into the video. So BTC, US dollar, Bitfinex chart. Let's take a look at this bad boy. Um, so basically, Bitcoin is of course gonna be one of the five coins that I recommend you purchase during this, uh, not that I recommend that you purchase, that I'm gonna be purchasing more of during this um, pretty much slaughter fest. So we can see Bitcoin is at around 6,500. And we can see here, it's, I mean, I would really like this day chart to, uh, this day candle to close, we're on the one day chart now. I would love it to close above um, 6,500. That would be uh, a little bit more comforting. Um, but if we go over onto the hour chart and take a quick look, um, we can see we have just been having mass sell-offs here. Uh, and I, I believe this is mainly due because uh, a certain number of Bitcoins were sold off from a certain company. Um, I'm not going to go over that in this video, uh, maybe in another video, or I'm sure it's been all over YouTube. So some of your other favorite crypto influencers can probably tell you about that. But I mean, if we go ahead and take a look at what happened here from 7,600, We've had seen a 15% loss in around three days, which is really, really, it's not nice to see. Everyone was thinking that Bitcoin was going to get out of this um, descending wedge and if I break through 10K and then break through and even be, be even more bullish in the future. Everyone wants to see a 20K Bitcoin again. Of course they do, but it's just going to take a matter of time, guys. If you are 
uh, holding long term for Bitcoin. I mean, don't worry about buying it and selling it. Um, if you just want to hold it, that should be fine. Uh, and if you want to go ahead and buy in at these prices, it, it's definitely not a bad option to do. Uh, so that, that's the first one. Second one is Zillica. Now, Zillica is a great project and gained a lot of attention and a lot of traction over the past few weeks, if not month. And we saw it up to around um, 2,100, 2,200 Satoshis. We have then since seen a pullback of around 50, 40%. Yeah, 37, 38% over the past, um, how long has this been? Like two weeks? Uh, yeah, it's been like... Uh, 35 days, a bit, bit over a month. I actually bought Zillica down here and I sold it up here. I made around like a $9,000 profit. I did in fact cash that out and I bought more back around here. Um, since then, I am holding it. Uh, I mean, the price has plummeted a lot, but Zillica is in my long-term portfolio for holding. So I'm not too bothered about the price action on that. Um, it could potentially be a nice one to swing trade, but right now we are at this um, level here at around 13, 1400 Satoshis. If we go lower, we could even fact go down to around 1100 Satoshis. In fact, I'm gonna go and take a look at um, some indicators for Zillica right now. So as we can see, as expected, the RSI is pretty low, around the 30 to 40 range, which is pretty bearish, but that's really to be expected. When we're seeing stuff like this, there's so much FUD in the market. People are getting their money out. People just don't, they just don't want to be in crypto at this point. I don't recommend selling. Even even right now, I probably wouldn't recommend selling. Had it been a few days ago, maybe Sunday or Saturday, maybe then you could have shorted and made a bit of money. But right now, um, if you're still holding on some stuff, I'd say just hold on to it. That's what I'm personally going to be doing. And Zillica is one of the ones I'm going to be holding on to. Um, the RSI, we haven't seen this level in a while yet. Uh, we did, in fact, break through this lowest point of around 40 RSI a few days ago. Uh, and yeah, I would really like to see the RSI coming up uh, if we're going to see some more traction. If not, uh, the volume doesn't increase. We could be going down to around 1,100 Satoshis, uh, which would probably be around another uh, another 10% down. Moving on, NEO. Now, NEO is another one that has been really struggling over the past few months with price action. As I'm sure, um, as I'm sure you know, in the early stages of 2018, we did see price action of upwards of $200 or pretty much $200, give or take, and that was huge for NEO. Um, and NEO was NEO was labeled uh, labeled <laughs> was labeled as pretty much the Ethereum killer. Well, has it been doing that? Well. Not really, to so to speak. All these ICOs that were coming out on based on ERC20 tokens and the Ethereum network, um, Neo was trying to go ahead and give a different option to that with holding new ICOs on the Neo network. Um, it has definitely been doing that, don't get me wrong. Uh, there have been a lot of ICOs coming out on Neo, and there are even more coming out in the future. I just don't think right now Neo is at the stage to overtake Ethereum, um, as we can see in the market and everything like that. I do, however, think Neo is a good contender for a, a pretty much a hold long term or even a swing trade. So if we go ahead and take a look at the moving average uh, over here, I'm going to move this to the 50 day and we can take a look at it. Uh, and I'm going to change the style to yellow and like that. So we can see here, taking a look at the one day chart on NEO, we are a considerable amount below. Uh, that's really awkward to see. We are a considerable amount below the moving average uh, 50 day. We are 36% below the 50 day moving average. Now, I have been using this indicator quite a lot. Um, it's definitely a, a great indicator to use if you're planning on swing trading. It's not the best uh, if you're planning on doing anything less than... Uh, any trades over a 24 hour period. Again, I wouldn't solely use this indicator. Um, it is a rough guide on to see where the price kind of is. Play about with the um, with the days on the 50, 50 day moving average, you can change it different days, get a general overlook and go in ahead and take a look at the MACD and other things like that to get a broader overlook. You don't ever wanna be using just one indicator, but also at the same time, you don't wanna be over confusing and over complicating yourself and using like four, five, six indicators because then you can just all get a bit clouded and you want a clear view. NEO is definitely one of the ones that's interesting to look at. Uh, we could well be going back down to around a $35 NEO, which we saw before the initial pump in uh, December, January. Um, if it goes to that price, I am definitely gonna be picking a hell of a lot of NEO up. Um, I mean, because it has the potential to, it has the potential to go all the way up to like uh, three, 400%. Uh, just to get back to its previous all-time high. So that's definitely something interesting to see. Neo, the price has been swinging up and down over the past few months. It really hasn't um, been too bullish in the last 
in the last uh, while. In April, we had a good good run up to around uh, ninety dollars. It couldn't quite break past that hundred dollar level, um, and we have been seeing correction ever since. I mean, right now it's at forty bucks. I wouldn't be surprised if we went back down to around um, thirty bucks and saw this support at around here, around thirty five dollars, something like that. I really wouldn't be surprised. Uh, damn, that line is wonky. <laughs> yeah, around 35 bucks. I wouldn't be surprised. So the next one to take a look at is EOS. Now, EOS, a lot of people love it. A lot of people hate it. Um, I do have EOS in my long-term portfolio. Uh, and I also do like to swing trade EOS because it's really nice to swing trade. There's a lot of hype around it when stuff comes out and stuff happens. It's got a big community around it. And that's, in my in my opinion, what's needed to propel a, uh, a crypto forward. And, and EOS definitely has that. Right now we're at around um, 150,000 Satoshis. Um, it's definitely not a bad price to be at. I think it's around $10, yeah. Exactly $10 on the dot. Um, it's definitely not a bad price considering we've seen highs of upwards of 20, but I think we are gonna see a bit more consolidation with EOS right now. So I do think the valuation at around 9 billion is a little bit far-fetched. Yes, it is a great coin, don't get me wrong, um, but I really, I don't think the valuation of nine nine billion is is kind of justified. Bitcoin Cash, on the other hand, fifteen billion. Yeah, that's totally justified. We all know and love Bitcoin Cash. Uh, yeah, maybe not. <laughs> but yeah, EOS is definitely a good one to add to your collection if you haven't already at this price. Um, it's got a lot of promising things, and I think it definitely could solve some of the scaling issues that Ethereum's having. Um, although it seems like every new th new one is trying to outdo the other. Um, Neo's trying to outdo Ethereum. EOS is trying to outdo them both. Zilliqa is having a go. Like everyone is just competing to outdo each other. Definitely they will not, uh, well not definitely, but I don't think they will all succeed. Um, so that's definitely one thing to keep in mind. But picking Neo, uh, Neo, picking EOS up at around $10 isn't a bad deal. I would maybe wait till it goes sub $10 uh, and that may be even better. Even now, let me check refresh. Uh, yeah, it's around $10 still, so yeah. Lastly, but finally, is a BNB Binance token. Now, we have been seeing a lot of price action with this recently, and in my opinion, it has been justified. I made a video around, um, around a week ago, something like that, and I, I told you around here to go ahead and pick up some uh, BNB because I do think it's a very, very useful thing to have in your inventory and your crypto for holding or just to hold on your account. Uh, and we have, in, we have in fact seen some nice gains since then. We have seen around a 15% gain since then. So uh, BNB definitely has a lot of use cases and I wouldn't say it's immune to the market crashes, but if you go ahead and take a, take a look over here at BNB, look at this, 7% in the last seven days. We've only seen a 7% reduction in the past seven days with this. Look at some of the others, 28%, 26, 20%. So I'm not saying BNB is immune to the um, the market crashes and stuff like that, but it's definitely something to hold on to and keep in your inventory, uh, in your arsenal of cryptos, because it definitely is interesting. And with the coin burn coming up in July and then again in October, I believe, and the reduction on fees, it's definitely ha it has a use case, which is very nice to see. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the Bitcoin Blueprint. It will be linked below. Lifetime, lifetime access to the trade calls and also the trade calls on their own. 49 bucks a month. Thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you in the next one.